Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. I just wanted to do a quick Halloween um, costume and makeup. I know it's kind of late because it is Halloween today, but I thought that this costume and makeup would be suitable for any kind of dress up event, like a superhero thing or something like that. So I hope you enjoy and I just wanted to mention that I didn't want to do the kind of common Catwoman makeup with the smoky eye and red lip because I find that, I don't know, for me that's not as kind of traditional as the old Catwoman. So the woman that played the first Catwoman, her name was Julie Newmar and she had the most awesome makeup. You can look it up on Google if you want to, but I just loved how they did her eyebrows and this kind of spiky cat-like effect and she also had like more of a nude lip so that's what I've aimed for today and I hope you enjoy this tutorial and please keep watching. I've already primed with my L'Oreal Nude Magic Blur Cream. Starting off with Chanel Perfection Lumiere in number 30. I'm just blending out that foundation with my Beauty Blender. Next, I'm using my Bourjois Happy Light Concealer under my eyes. Now just setting that with my usual Bourjois Healthy Balance Powder. Then using my MAC Eyebrow Crown in Lingering, I'm just going to fill them in as I normally would. I'm not going to set my eyebrows yet because I'm going to be coming back to this step. Next on to eyes, I'm first off priming them with my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. Now just applying a nice light shadow, so I'm starting off with this white one and it's from my Bobbi Brown Lip and Eye Palette. Just apply this colour all over the lid up to the brow bone. After doing that, you then want to go in with a liquid eyeliner and line your entire upper eyelids. So now that your eyeliner is on and winged out, just grab a black eyeshadow, I'm using Carbon by MAC, and I'm going to be creating a cut crease. So once you've applied it with a small brush, just grab a bullet brush and then just kind of blend that into the crease a little bit more. Next, I'm just using a black eyeliner and I'm using a Smolder by MAC and I'm going to line underneath my entire eyelid. Now just with a white eyeliner, just line your waterline. Now I'm just going to go and curl my lashes, apply some mascara. I'm using this Maybelline Colossal Volume and these Ardell lashes in Demi Lovies. So I'll be back. Okay, so now that my eyes are finished and I've got my lashes on, I'm going to go back to my eyebrows and with the old um, version of Catwoman, which I've already spoken about. Um, her eyebrows are super strange. They've kind of like spiked them up in sections, so that's what I'm going to try and attempt to do. If it looks weird, I'm just going to have to remove it and leave my eyebrows as normal. You want to do three kind of spikes in your eyebrows to make it look more cat-like. So the first one will go here, the second one will go where the center of your brow is, the highest arch, and the third one is just at the end. I'm going to start off with this one here, so I just want to kind of arch my brow a bit more. And then with the end of your brow, you want to flick that out a little bit as well. Like that. 
And then the next one is kind of right here at the start of your brow. So you've got one big main spike and then a little one here and then one at the end. So that is what the eyebrows should look like. Really weird, I know, but fits into the character. I'm just going to set the brows, um, setting the hairs straight upwards because it kind of fits into the look. So next, just moving on to bronzer, I'm just using Hula by Benefit. I'm just using a MAC blush in Melba. Using a bit of highlighter, so this is What's Up by Benefit. Okay, so the lips for this look, for the version that I was originally doing, she wears a very uh, kind of like nude brown colour. So I thought to use Honey Love by MAC, which looked literally very similar, which is that one there. Another option would be to go for a red, but I would suggest going for a very deep red. I just think it suits the look a lot more. This one is number 40 uh, Rouge Allure Velvet by Chanel. So I'm going to be going with the nude tone. I just think that it just suits the look a lot more because you've got a really lot of attention with the brows. So having a red lip, I think, would draw away from that. So now I'm just going to fix my hair and then I'll show you the finished makeup look. So in the actual old movies of Catwoman, the um, actress had her hair had her like ears on like this and then her hair was combed over to cover the headband but I just think that's a bit um, too outdated so I, I like to have my hair down at the front and then the cat ears just at the back there because you can't really see the headband anyway once you've got your hair out so yeah so this is the finished makeup look and I'm also going to show you my outfit which I got online. I'll link it below and I'll link where I got the ears as well. So it looks like this. So this part here is like a fake leather and then down the bottom it's all like a stretchy lycra material and it goes into pants and then you can wear boots with it as well if you want to. So this is the finished look and I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.